Hi, uh, today I want to give you an example of a very classic moral dilemma that we often use to help students think about how they might reason through moral problems. It's called the trolley dilemma. So I want to set the scene. Imagine yourself standing before a trolley track and moving from right to left is an out of control unmanned trolley speeding down the track. Down the track a bit in front of the trolley are five people who have been tied to the track five people who will surely die if the trolley continues on its path. Just before those five people, <clears throat> there's a switch onto an alternate track, where one person lies tied to the track. One person who will surely die if the trolley is somehow switched onto the alternate track. Now before you is a lever. Why put it to you? Do you pull the lever to divert the trolley from killing the five towards killing the one. Now as you take some time to, to think about your answer, I'll let you in on, on how this conversation usually plays out with groups that I work with. On average, about 85% of a room, and this is true whether it's a small room or a, a large lecture hall, will raise their hand and say yes, that they would pull the lever. And when I ask them why they would make that decision, we usually focus on the math, the idea that if you have a choice of only having one person die versus having five people die, it's better that only one person should die. And so the math tells us that we should pull the lever. I then will ask the group, are there, are there any types of bits of information, is there any question that you could ask about this situation that might affect the way that you make your decision? And usually people start to ask questions about the people. Is this a good person? Is this somebody who might cure cancer someday? Is it a bad person? Is it somebody that's committed some sort of crime? Are there children involved? Is it somebody I know? If it is somebody I know, is it somebody I like? And then they'll even ask questions about things like age. So what we're doing is we're still focusing on the math, but the math is becoming a little bit more complicated. Now we're starting to add weights to the variables and we're still doing the calculations and trying to decide whether we should pull the lever or not. So I told you that story so I could tell you this next story. We call this the footbridge or the platform dilemma. So now I want you to imagine that you're standing on a platform above a trolley track. And again, an out of control trolley is speeding down the track and at the end of the track, there are five people who have again been tied to the track. This time there's no lever and there's no alternate track. But instead, there's an incredibly large man who is precariously leaning on the very edge of the platform, toes hanging off, trying to get a better look at what's going on. And you realize that with just the slightest push, you could send that man tumbling to the track below, derailing the trolley, instantly killing the man that you pushed, but sparing the lives of the five. And the question I put to you is, do you push the man? And more often than not, in fact, almost every single time I've done this, the room completely switches. And so where 85% would have pulled the lever, now only about 15% would push the man. And so the question that I put to you then is, is why? Why did you change your mind? And this is the part in the conversation where I could admonish you for being so fickle that you would give me this, this well thought out moral reasoning for why you would do one thing and then completely back away and, and do the opposite when I give you the same math. So that in essence are, are these, these two moral dilemmas that we use as conversation starters. And in having these conversations we get to talk about the reasoning process and some of the different things that we want to ask questions about, how we add information uh, to the scenario to help us make our choices. But something that comes out in the, in the footbridge dilemma that's different from the trolley dilemma is that we add affect or emotion as an important piece of information. And there's lots of research, which I'll, I'll reference on my website, that guide you towards how we know about the power of emotion and the power of affect under these different dilemmas and the kind of impact it has on how people make decisions.